Hello and welcome to the very first episode of, of Mike on the Mic. I'm your host, Mike Chevarelli, alongside the very outstanding Alicia. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm very excited to be a part of this. Very excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. This yes. is uh, the first episode, like I said, and really just to give you a quick rundown of what Mike on the Mic is all about. Uh, one, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Nonsense. Two, uh, it should be fun. F and funny. Nonsense. It should be. That's fun our goal. And funny. Uh, and three, uh, what, what, what would be the third one, Alicia? Um, uh, sports. Sports. Oh, current I news. I love sports. We love talking about sports, but we like to find the fun within sports. And we like to have fun with certain <laughs> various topics. So. Yeah, like recent news. We talk about recent news. Like recent news. news. Yeah, yeah. For instance... This week, Newbin experienced a series of network-related issues that resulted in periodic internet, Wi-Fi, and Blackboard outages. Many students urged higher-ups to cancel classes, stating, Newman, are y'all canceling classes? With no internet to send out class cancellation emails and no real calls to cancel classes, students were forced to continue on as if their world did not just come crumbling down. Many were hurt, but no serious injuries were reported. With nowhere to turn, many took to Newman's Nightlife app to vent, gain clarification, and comfort others. After the class canceling comment, it got us thinking, what other great things have people said on the Nightlife app? Here's what we found. Let's go out there and cheer on the cricket team today. God, I love me some cricket. Does anybody want to try and have a Nerf gun battle right now on the tennis courts? Never would have thought finding water would be this much of a struggle, crying emoji. That sounds serious. Who is an athletic training major? I need my shoulders loose. Ranch boy. Anyone trying to link up and bake? I just got an easy bake oven in my dorm. I'm trying to make some pastries. Uh, LOL. Everybody be on turkey time on this campus. This rain is in the way. Folks really trapping off this John, crying emojis, making break off packets and books. Hit me up for cheap, non-acrylic nails. I do acrylics too, but I don't have my set yet. Who is Jamila Grant? She knows my grandma. Do anyone have a charger for the PS4 controller? Like the real charger that came with the PS4? About to perform Aztec human sacrifice on my homie, winky face, strong arm emoji. Does anyone have ibuprofen or Advil and vomiting prevention medicine? For future reference, that is called Pepto-Bismol. It says, it's about to go down, but they spelled about A-B-T. And then uh, hashtag all caps, UNO. And then all caps, I really does this. Anybody got weave glue? Bro, the struggle of washing clothes in college is real. That party poppin' or naw? Nah? I lost my license like three days ago in LLC3. Need some space heaters out here at the designated spoken garrets. Who got wand curlers? We hoopin' later on today. We in here scared watching this scary movie. I'm accepting challengers for anyone who thinks they can beat me in Guitar Hero. Any takers? No moves? Anybody do good poetic justice braids? Uh, in my side life, I do. Do anybody have a big bowl and big spoon? Yo, what the f is going on with the Wi-Fi? It's still acting up like, how are you supposed to turn in homework? Do research or check email without Wi-Fi. Do exclamation mark, question mark, need to send a complaint or transfer? Where are the nuns at? So as I said earlier, here on Mike on the Mic, we wanted to take a look back at some news stories that make you kind of want to say, really? Is this, is this real news? This is real? This happened? So to start off, we start in Michigan, where a police department warned rowdy football fans to keep their celebrations under control or else police officers will spoil season two of Stranger Things. The East Lansing Police Department tweeted a plea on Saturday for Michigan State University football fans to keep their celebrations under control after the team's victory over Penn State. 
The tweet read, we've taped Stranger Things spoilers all over the walls of our jail cell this week. So that should be some extra motivation to stay out of the stony lonesome. Another story for you guys, I've got to say, well, first off, I got to say, I have to applaud the police department for motivating people on the spoilers. Next time nursing majors are too loud in the library, I'm going to have to threaten them with spoiling the latest episode of Grey's Anatomy as their computer desktop. In other news, a German man caused a bit of a stir when he called the police department and reported an unexploded World War II bomb that he found in his backyard. P the police arrived to find a 15-pound, 17-inch long zucchini. Yes, a zucchini, the plants. I can't make a better punchline. That, that is what he found in his backyard. Also, straight out of the Halloween horrors, a doctor in Tennessee recently delivered a baby while he was dressed up as the Joker with the makeup, face paint, and all. Following the birth, the parents immediately diverted their children's college savings fund into a psychiatric help fund. Also, there's a new app to help McDonald's customers find a working ice cream machine. And as many of you know, this could be a struggle, especially if you want some ice cream from McDonald's. It goes to show how serious people take their ice cream, honestly. I mean, I can't blame them either. I know at least I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And lastly, a safari goer in South Africa captured a video of a baby elephant trying to play tough guy by intimidating a safari vehicle. Like, take it easy, elephant. But oddly enough, that's exactly what I do when there's one slice of pizza left. So I kind of, I kind of can relate with that elephant. Also, I just wanted to touch on this last topic, honestly, just to throw in here. The Philadelphia Eagles, okay? Top of the NFL. Can you believe it, Philadelphia? Eight and one. Who, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Carson Wentz is in MVP form. The defense is playing out of their minds. Number one rush defense in the league. And, and they're playing like... Alicia, are you listening to this? Yes. Oh, oh what, what, was yes, I, I what was I just talking about then? Eagles, Andy Reid, Super Bowl, 45, we're going to win. <clears throat> well, that, that's close. That's kind of close. I mean, I, you don't really seem excited, though. Well. This is huge news. I mean. This is huge. This hasn't happened Eagles since 2004. Are a big deal, but I'm like a Giants fan now. What? Giants now? You're a Giants fan now. Yes. What, why? Why are you trying? What, that doesn't make sense. I why? recently got into a program at NYU. So I'm your Wait, classic New NYU. Yorker. NYU? Wait, hold on. What? Why is Frank? Why is Frank Sinatra playing? Producers, hold on. What is going on? What is? What's going on? Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be a part No, we don't. Of it. No, we don't. No, we New don't. York, we don't want to be a part of anything. That's, that's it. That's it for Mike on the mic. We'll see you next time. Alicia, what are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. They don't want to see this. They, this is not good content. Longing to stray. Right through the very